Hey guys, Duke here, and today we are going to talk about how to reach power level 1310 in Season of the Chosen. As with every new season, there are multiple new sources of leveling, as well as some sources that are no longer in the game. In order to provide the most full picture possible, I will be going over a full guide on how to level this season. For Season of the Chosen, we have new level caps for each tier of leveling. The soft cap, also known as the level you can get to with drops from all sources, is 1250. The powerful cap, which is the gear level you can reach using only powerful drops or above, is 1300. And the pinnacle cap, which requires you to use pinnacle specific sources to reach, is 1310. Getting to the soft cap of 1250 is simple enough by doing the activities of your choice, so we will start the discussion with powerful drops. There are a number of new sources of powerful drops this season, along with a few removed ones from the previous seasons. The biggest newly introduced powerful drops come from the new activity this season, Battlegrounds. There are four powerful drops associated with Battlegrounds, with powerful drops coming from completing three, six, and nine Battleground activities respectively. Also, there is a powerful drop from the War Table itself, which is to complete eight bounties from the War Table, which you will want to be doing while doing the Battlegrounds themselves. As with previous seasons, one of the fastest ways to get powerful drops is to play and win matches in competitive. You can get powerful drops from both glory rank ups as well as the big valor rank ups, while also having the chance to get prime engrams. Although as you can see, I haven't played any comp myself. There's also an additional powerful drop for winning 7 rounds total in the competitive playlist, which you can do on each character once per week. Additionally, completing 3 matches in the non-comp playlists will give you a powerful drop. Also, completing 8 crucible bounties from Shex will give you a powerful drop as well. Completing 8 activity specific bounties will give you a powerful drop from Shax for Crucible, Zavala for Strikes, Drifter for Gambit, and Gunsmith for the activities of your choice. In addition to the 8 bounties drop, Gambit will also give you a powerful for completing 3 matches. Also in Gambit, just like Valor and Crucible, you will get a powerful drop for each big rank up. This season allows your Crucible and Gambit major rank power drops to be grabbed from Shax and Drifter respectively. This is going to be helpful if you want to get all of your drops on the same character, as you can play on all of your characters, but not pick up your drops until you're ready to grab them on your main character. For Strikes, in addition to the 8 bounties, you can get a powerful by completing 3 strikes while running a subclass that matches the weekly rotating burn. Also, there are two powerfuls for Nightfalls, one for Nightfall completions, and one for completing a Nightfall with at least a 100k score. For the completions, if you do the 100k on the 1300 or higher Nightfall, you will also get the drop for the completions. There are some weeks that doing the 1270 version will allow you to get the 100k completion, such as this current week of Sepix Prime, which is nice because it has built-in matchmaking. As I mentioned earlier, there are also Prime Engrams and plus one drops that can be received for completing Strike, Crucible, Gambit, and Battleground activities. Prime Engrams are Engrams that will drop 3 above your base level that can drop from any powerful enemy or completing a Crucible match. You can get 2 Primes per day per character, which reset at Daily Reset, but you can get more than 2 if you haven't done all of your Primes on a certain character for a longer period of time. Plus 1 drops can be obtained at the end of a Strike, Battlegrounds, Gambit, or Crucible match. We are conditioned to auto-delete many of the blues and legendaries we get at the end of activities, but make sure to check these drops because they can uncommonly drop up to one higher than your base level, which will add up to quite a bit in the long run of doing these ritual activities. Over by Hawthorne, assuming you are in a clan, there are actually five powerful drops you can get per week. One for getting 5,000 personal clan XP, and four more for your clan doing Crucible, Nightfall, Raid, and Gambit activities. Wrathborn hunts from last season still have one powerful attached to them for doing a total of five Wrathborn hunts, and pick up your drop afterwards from Crow in the Tangled Shore. He is both there and in the helm for this season, but make sure to visit him in the Tangled Shore for the drop. There are three powerful drops on Europa. They are to do eight bounties from Varix, do two Empire hunts, and kill 100 enemies off of Europa using Stasis. As I mentioned in every leveling video, don't forget the extremely important concept of edging your gear. Edging your gear, also known as evening out your gear, refers to the idea that you can get gear that is at your level as random world drops or other specific limited sources, such as the season pass. 
This is an extreme example because I haven't touched my Titan yet, but as you can see, my weapons on the left side are much, much higher than my armor. And because of this, I can go to my Season Pass and get drops that are at my current base level of 1273, which will level me up every time I do so. After grabbing the level 1 Season Package that gives you a full set of armor, I've gone from 1273 to 1282, as you can see here. I can continue to do this for as long as I have drops in the Season Pass, or I can also go and play activities within the game and look at those blues and purples that drop randomly and use those to edge my gear as well. There's actually a really great website that can do this math and check for you, which I'll put on screen and link in the description below. Finally, we have Pinnacle Rewards. Until you hit 1300 power, you can basically consider these the same as powerful rewards, and a few of the powerfuls I mentioned in that section are actually pinnacle rewards, which I will mention again in this section. Pinnacle rewards are the only way to get your base power above 1300, and allow you to get all the way to the max season base level of 1310. First we have the plus one pinnacles, meaning they will drop one higher power than your current base light if you are 1300 base power or higher. These are the three playlist strikes with the matching weekly elemental burn, three Gambit matches, three Crucible playlist matches, and 5,000 weekly clan XP if you are in a clan. The remaining pinnacle drops are all plus two pinnacle drops, which means they will drop two power higher than your current base level once you are 1,300 power or higher. As a reminder, you can also use these before 1,300 power, and they will drop five higher than your base power between 1,250 and 1,300. These drops are the 100k Nightfall, Exo Challenge, Prophecy Dungeon, Master Empire Hunt, the Harbinger Activity, the Deepstone Crypt Raid, which has four pinnacles per character per week, or five if you do the weekly challenge, and reaching seven wins and or flawless in Trials of Osiris. Trials also has powerful drop rewards at both three and five wins. I hope this guide helped you all in your conquest for hitting 1310 base power this season. A like is much appreciated if this video helped you in any way, and subscribe if you are new and want to see content like this in the future. And as always, have a wonderful day.